Yeah, hello everybody. So there are issues of Ghana card, Baumia, Mahama, Opambo, Katechi, FIFA, Vim Lady, and all those things. In them, it will be real. And then you know the reason why there is a bit between Opambo, the reason why Opambo can say Vim Lady, the reason why Oni or Katechi area back and forth with the attempt Emma Opambo sister so for Chief Muhina Abe Mutino. Ti mami. Ti shout outs to uh, Gossip Twenty Four. This particular feed is taken from there for our analysis. So, Timami, after that, as usual, the intellectual unbiased analysis. Yeah, the people of the church and Timami. And now, we are sure who we Say that, for what president, Donald Mahama, our side flag graph on the NBC, Echo Pimu, our Shanty Region, our Kushia Legend, our best and greater courage, Kushia Murino, or Saka Shanty Region, so Kushia Legend. Aha, and a nation's prophet of Pam Wong, Echo Bissa, question, and your biology fans. On the microphone, this was also a fans on social media. So, now question on Ubisa and then the fans will digest Ubisa say Ghana card. No, there's a pump of question. The person is a Ghana card. No, so person, a Ghana card. No, if it's Miyama, send it free card. Nah, Ghana card. If it's Miyama, free card. And now, everybody shall be here. No, Miss Nabusa say Ghana card. It's me, my Yaka. A bit of my Yaka free because a cost of many more. Mimi Tiasi, Miss Mimo Bian soon say, Say Ghana card. A bit of me, Yaka free. Because we be free. be able to free. And then we say, we seven and present year, no mommy, Miss Nadaruma. Say, a bit of me and free. Now, my fire won't so because you me and I, yes, sir. And seven, I don't know. And the question, yeah, a yeah, nurse's prophet of Pambo beside here. Oh, yeah, your father said, Don't have a meeting with the clergy. I see, and I will the backstory and the reason to Pambo beside that particular question. Now, a 57th year congregation ceremony, I of course will care yesterday. And the doctor about me, I can say about air credit to the person introducing me. And I'm continuing, and I'll kind of say, Oh, and Ghana Cardo, and then the uncle for the credit system, a man for a bit media to cast. In the end, some media portals are reporting, and say, Oh, and check, wait to be the Ghana card, no, I talk, wait a man for the ads, and it's already running campaign. Oh, it's now. What's your power now? Obisa, that particular question. But Vim Lady, I react to Yeah, so before Vim Lady, the end, handle of Pamboard, you know, I think it was a sarcastic question. What is a sarcastic question? Nims and Emeka with Fibo. Sarcastic question. I say, or just say, Dr. Baumia can name it. First of all, the importance of identification system, they can never be underplayed. I know the let's be clear on that. But with that also being said, no, and your Ghana card, no, never solve Ghana problems. What I say, and your Ghana card, never solve Ghana problems. And then who the TV lady? How the TV lady? Then I address the two together with the TV lady. Ah, the TV lady we have to pump more question. No, oh, who? Oh, father say, oh, father say, pump one. The national agents be behind. Oh, yeah. What I say? But Obia, say we have a question. The only ones on the Ghana card. No, no, the party say they. No, I think. I go for. Well, proper people are not aware of national agents. No, I But I think that this issue about Ghana card. Everybody who condemns Ghana card. No, say you say the Bruno Manu say Bruno Manu. Say the one in the form. Because look. It be identification, that is what has made Europe near Broche. That in short, that should not even be a contentious issue. That, that should not be a contentious issue. Oh, not be a contentious issue. There should not be this, this is the bogus issue. This is the idea that I have a and this is the woman, the voice of the woman, 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 the yeah, so before that, Bim Lady, you see, Chrome Hano, or Votu Kanya, or Moody Pinjaya, so much too much. Yes, of course, identification cards are very, very important in these international countries. But in here, no, now, they take you from poverty. That's what I work on. The card system, they take people from poverty. They understand the way. Yes, of course, identification is very, very important for every nation's development. A nation that does not have its border integrity and does not have identification system, and people can come in and go out anyhow they want is a problem. So that issue where Ghana, people can get birth set anyhow, they can get passports anyhow, they can get ID card anyhow, is, is, is wrong. And I must commend Akufuadu and Dr. Muhammad Baumia for the introduction of the Ghana card. It's important, it's really top notch. But with that being said, nobody should also make it look like Ghana card is the first identification that we've seen in Ghana. Before Ghana card, we had the ECOWAS card. We even had the national ID card. We even have our voters card. We also have our health insurance card and the ultimate, the passport. But what this government did was to make sure that the Ghana card was the only acceptable card for most of the transactions in Ghana. So it became very, 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 very important because by, they made it by law, you need it for 
to get a bank account to register your mobile money your mobile money to register your sim and all that so they made the ghana card very very important that's one two they also made sure that the system integrity around the ghana card was better than all the cards that we've had except the passport the passport is on a different level so the ghana card is important but let us not make it look like before the ghana card ghana we didn't have an identification system let's throw those things away and with the coming of the ghana card i was even thinking that issues of the birth set you know your birth titan so that the birth set you know it will be given to the right people and the right people only and also our border integrity before you come to any developed country there are times that you need to apply for visa for about three months and wait four five months unless those who have special priorities that they can get it ahead but most of african country visa on arrival and all those things easy for people to come into our country and go our border system is poor so that one must that one must be addressed very, very important but with that being said nobody should come and tell us that it is it is ghana card or it is identification cards that has made europe or america america or canada canada or uh dubai dubai what's that what are you talking about the reason why dubai and the reason why Qatar today they are what they are is because of good leadership and good governance because they've rooted out corruption the national resources which is oil that they discovered they make sure that they mine it responsibly look at what we are doing with our gold galamsi pasa at all that is it they rooted out corruption and their resources were used to take care of their nation better use of their resources what are you talking that what is is the identification card that has made this country efficient ghana card those things do not add to your gdp what is card yamikra i've been in canada not long ago i have about three different cards but because of security reasons, I cannot show three different. I have their driver's license, I have their uh, province ID, and I also have their MS, MS was what, their medical services card. I have those three cards. But it means that the most important one will be their passport. And before Ghana card, we had passport. So nobody should come and make it look like what we want. But what has made here a better place is because they have, the leaders are thinking for the people. You understand the leaders are thinking for the people oh, how, how dare somebody come and tell me that with the ghana card we'll be able to get cars yes of course it can improve our credit system but when the fundamentals are weak the fundamentals are weak if our credit system is even improved an average even graduate is earning like two thousand ghana cities a toyota bit is costing hundred thousand ghana cities how many years would that person work before that person will be able to will be able to pay for that in addition to interest and in addition to inflation you let's even say that we are not considering interest and inflation first of all that two thousand cities is it enough if that person is even saving half that thousand cities a month the whole year is twelve thousand cities it will take that person over 10 years to pay those are the things we should talk about low wages and what are the factors that account for low wages factors that account for low wages is because of deficit trade balance so most of the things we use we import and when you do that, you are creating jobs for other countries. Those are the things that we expect Baumia to also talk about. Like I said, Baumia is a smart person, but I'm saying that this Akufuadu government has not helped Baumia. Those are the things. He knows all these things. And I've listened to some of the things he says. He happens to mention the past and now it has not been done. Which needs to be done. So when a country like Ghana, we import almost everything. If we do that, we are not being able to produce the things we need. So we go and import. By so doing, those factories that produce these things in other countries, they are producing jobs for their people. But we, we don't have jobs. And if we don't have jobs, the few jobs, a lot of people are chasing those few jobs. When you do that, salaries will be low. Because you don't have jobs. Whatever they give you, you take. But here, here, minimum wage is about $18, $20 per hour. Jobs. There are people who don't want to do it. So if you are doing 40 hours, $20, that's $800 per week. Yes, $800 per week. $800 per week times times four. We are talking about so $800, $1,006. We are talking about over $3,000. Over $3,000. When you convert to Ghana cities, even if the rate is 18 or if let's say the rate is 20, it's not up to 20. So let's use 20. We are talking about over 50,000 Ghana cities. People are earning a month. And it's not somebody saying, you know, here in Canada. Even just doing Uber or not Uber passenger, just Uber delivery, Uber it, you'll be able to make about thousand Canadian dollars a week, which is equivalent to thirteen thousand Ghana cities, because they built a better system. Their wages, their wage levels are better, security system, and that is what is lacking. The same Baumia came to promise us that oh, when he comes, what uh, Okada people will be able to exchange their their Okada for electric vehicles. Where is it? 
So please, less identification is good, but it is not that is not what is going to solve Ghana's problem. Let's start producing the things we need. Let the government support private sectors to produce the things we need. Up to now, we should not be importing rice, oil, chicken, and if we keep doing that, our city will always be weak because nobody wants your currency. Because when they have your currency, they can't buy anything with it. Other countries don't need your currency because they can't buy anything. They don't produce or supply anything that they they will use your currency to buy. So by so doing, your currency will always fall. But you will always need dollars to go and buy the things that you need. So by so doing, your exchange rate against other foreign currency will always be weak. Your, your city will keep falling because it has no value. There is no production. There is no productive sector or productive services sector to support your currency. These are serious economic matters that needs to be solved. Not just identification. So if you have a please. What are we talking about? What are we talking about? At times I ask myself, our leaders, what's up? What's up? So, hey, it's sad though. People don't even have work to do. Yet, we are importing almost everything from China. When you go to our port, always containers are coming. We are importing as if we don't have mind. All because the people who are involved in the importations are powerful people who are linked to these political people. So, we cannot take a strategic move to say that from henceforth, we are producing the things that we need. Food, clothing and shelter. Canada here, you cannot bring milk. Home. You cannot bring poultry. You can't bring eggs. They produce it here. That's why they're able to supply even some of these things to their food bank. So, anybody in Canada, if you are legally here as a student or as a worker or as a permanent citizen, you can go to the food bank and they will give you eggs, they will give you oil, they will give you milk, they will give you bread. For free. For free. So, food clothing there are places that they will give you money to go and buy clothes food clothing and shelter the shelter is quite expensive accommodation and the rest but food food a country that cannot produce food to take care of itself is going nowhere and that is the story of most african countries why should we import oil because a big man will get will be rich by importing oil why should we import rice because a big man will, will be rich by importing those are the things we should talk about how about setting rice factories to start employing our people and as time goes on we start putting bans on bringing some of this product how about we starting an oil manufacturing company in ghana to the extent that we are able to feed ourselves and export how about st starting because of the import now factories like Darko farms do not exist so that's the critical things we expect governments to be doing yes of course id card is okay but we say that is what has made europe and the rest it's not it's not straightforward like that in our economics class there are questions that we even ask and some of the economic professors are not able to answer it's technical, it's a serious. Me, I know Baumia is smart, but this current government has not helped Baumia. And going forward, Baumia needs to prove, needs to prove, prove that no. Now Baumia doesn't even talk about the economy. Why? He talks about digitalization. Why? No, no. I know he's a smart person. That one, I'm not going to take it from him. And given the opportunity as the president, he, he, he has the ability to deliver. You understand? So let's move from this, this things. That Ghana card is the one that will change what? Let's start producing the things we need. By so doing, we are building industries, factories. The young people should be able to work, should be able to earn decent salary. I'll be making a video about whether you, you accept a salary of 2000 as a young graduate. Those things. I say here, you, you a week, just a norm. Those who drive passenger credit, they can even make over thousand dollars a week. Thousand Canadian dollars. That's like 13,000 cities. So if you buy a car here for five thousand dollars to use for that, and you can make like eight hundred dollars a week, within five months you'll be able to pay for. But an Uber driver, when you buy a car for him hundred thousand every week, you'll be able to make five hundred Ghana cities. The whole month, let's say he'll be able to save two thousand. It will take him at least five to six years to be able to pay for that. Those are the fundamental issues. Yes, of course, the identification system. Yes, of course, health credit. But the salaries and the income levels. And the unemployment, those things need to be solved. Just as a message, share, like. It's a long video because it's important we talk about this. Things. This is where I'll leave it. A pump water was cursing if you have a they saying that he can he will curse her, change her life. Please, the pastors, those who do this thing, stop this thing. That's not what Christianity is for. God did not give us power to be destroyed, He gave us power to bless. And some of them make themselves as if they hold people's destiny and all those things. All those things, people are taking advantage of the gospel and Christianity. Christianity is important, but we have some pastors who take it for granted and all those things. Let's stop all those things and let's move forward as a nation and let's get serious. 
Justice MNC Canada. Please like and share. Thank you for supporting and thank you for liking our out. All the best to Ghana, all the best to you. Any thanks here, prayer, say one for Justice MNC. I believe that Ghana and Africa will get to a place where there will be a change. We'll get to a place where we'll be able to take our destiny into our own hands. I believe that we'll be able to build a Ghana and an Africa where the young person has an opportunity to excel. Where people who want to work will be able to get work to do. Where our young girls must not be involved in sex trading to survive. Hook up and the rest. That's not the way to go. Where our young men have to rely on bets and fraud to, to survive. That is not the Ghana and Africa we want to build because of poor and failed leadership. Meanwhile, these leaders know better. If it's no wickedness, what else can I say? So the leaders, please, lift up Mahama and Baumia, whoever is coming, get serious. You, Mahama, you've been president before, so if you are saying Ghana should give you the opportunity, when you come, or if you have the opportunity, get serious. Baumia, if you get the opportunity, get serious. Let's see leadership. Let's see leadership. Let's see, let's see sense at work. Let's see sense at work. That's the same message about. Oh,